Welcome to our source room. I'm Alfredo Martinez, and we are continuing our series on the 12 days of Yule. We are now on the third day of Yule. I have with me the one and only Kat <clears throat> Katna Willis. How are you doing, Katna? How you going, Alfredo? Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi. Right. So today we're going to be talking about working with uh, Asmodeus and Lilith on uh, Yule. So go ahead and give us an overview on that, Kevin. Okay. Asmodeus and Lilith are good for you for sex magic. So you, if you want to perform any type of sexual magic, um, Lilith and Asmodeus is be the, per the perfect two to summon. But you can choose either one of them. You can even choose both. But I would prefer for the, um, if I was asking for a wish, like uh, prosperity or anything like you want to gain or succeed in, Asmodeus will be the one to uh, uh, summon. Lilith is more for the female side. So the girls, I would call up for the girls of you who are doing it, I would call upon Lilith um, to do your sex magic. Um, so what you need to do is if you want to ask for anything that you want to gain or success, uh, what you need to do is have the altar table ready, as you already know, how to set up the altar table. Um, then you need to put uh, their sigil, their symbols on the ground, a uh, big size, not, not, not small. We're talking about big enough that you can actually lay down with your arms stretched out and you're still inside that sigil. So it'll be a big room. You'll need a big room, obviously, to draw up that sigil. So because you'll be laying down on it and you also you'll be performing your sexual activities in that middle of that portal. So, um, and that's how you, and also you have to light, light up your candle. So on your altar table, you have your candle for whatever spell you're doing or what if you're not using candle, you're using herbs. You can just use, just put it straight onto your altar because you have your, when your altar table, you should have your little portal there anyway to put your candle up on or your ingredients where your cauldron is to burn all your herbs and whatever. So that's a little portal there. But you're also making another massive portal that's uh, right next to the altar where you're going to do your sexual activity. So either you can even put that symbol right underneath your bed and put your bed straight on top if you want, as long as that sigil is there. And so when you climax, uh, that's where the energy comes out of and that will enter the spell that you are putting onto uh, well, whatever candle or cauldron, whatever is going in your on your altar table. So all so when you climax, all that energy will be sucked into that spell because you already put the ritual on. You see, and when you're summoning the Asmodeus or that they're listening in, and you're giving them a gift. So the gift of sex. Asmodeus loves sex. He loves lust. So does Lilith. As we all know, she's a succubus. You know, so um, so anything to do with sex, they love it. So even if you're with a couple or group, or even by yourself, as long as you're in that circle and doing it, all that energy will transfer into whatever spell you're doing. So a lot of occultists loves using sex magic, as, uh, um, and a lot of um, uh, yeah, groups do do sex magic, yes, is a real big thing because it's so powerful, very powerful. As you can tell when you climax, how much energy goes through your body when you release it all. So, and you're just releasing it out into the air. What we're doing is putting it into a portal and sending it straight to that spell. So all the energy goes straight to that spell. So whatever you're casting, it will go. It will be more powerful. Yeah. So. Right. So Asmodeus is a good person to ask for success. If you really want to get a goal or get something like love, even love, you know, whatever, just give them sex in return. You know, they love that. So. So whatever sex you way you would do it, but yeah, Asmodeus is the one that people most occults and Lilith is the ones that were most occults do do sex magic. And they're the ones that they perform too. Yeah. And they're the ones that also grant them their wishes. So Yeah, and, and now it's interesting that you had mentioned about when you climax about your uh, chakras being open, about the energy. Flow yes, with yes. That. Yes, the, uh, when you climax, right, after you finish climaxing, everybody automatically opens their chakras, even if you don't even realize that you actually are. They're like, oh, people keep saying, oh, they can't open up their chakras. No. After climaxing, you everybody opens up their chakras. They're so relaxed. And that is how 
uh, energy is gets into you because you're all opened up. So your shields are down, your guards are down, you're very vulnerable, you know, very vulnerable. Your guards are down. Anything can attack you, but you're in that circle, you see. So in that circle, it's protected by your sigil. So all that energy, whatever that whoever you called upon, uh, goes uh, the, their energy will go straight automatically to you or, or to your partner, whoever is in that circle as well. So, okay. yeah, so chakras is, uh, yeah, so that will open up straight away and that's how you uh, get the energy to, um, yeah, from the demons or whatever you summon, uh, their energy gets into you because you're already in that portal, see? So all that portal has got so much energy it's just rolling around because it can't escape from that circle that you drew, drew up when you putting your sexual activity on, you see? Yeah. So all the energy builds up and then when your chakras are open, that's when everything seeps in or leaks out. All the negativity is gone because you're so relaxed because there is no negativity in sex. Everyone knows that after you climax, you don't feel no negativity in it. You feel good. Yeah. That's it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, and that's when the chakras are open, you've got that positive fear and that's when it's able to, the energy can transfer to one to the other, really, because you're open, yeah? Because when you have your guards up, all your shield comes up, you know, when your solar plexus are up, all your shield stops everything from coming in or out, you see? So when that's why they use sex magic. Sex magic will, no matter who it is, if they can get them to climax, yeah. they can open the person. Yes. Okay. Okay, well, that's that's some good information on uh, using sex magic in people. So we'll go ahead and uh, leave it right there. And go ahead, <clears throat> go ahead and join us tomorrow for our fourth day of Yule. Till then, have a good night, everybody.